good day everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be sharing 10 most useful important shortcut keys for windows users now i can bet that these shortcut keys are known by only few people and if you know these shortcut keys then you can make your life easier you can make your computer work much easier and this will take you to the next level and make you a computer expert so without wasting any time let's quickly get it started number one that we have is control shift and the n key now many time when manually to that particular location then you have to make a right click hover up to new and then you have to choose the folder but if you press control shift n key so you can see that a new folder has been created so this is how you can create a new folder on any particular location on in the, your desktop or even if you go to this folder and again if you want to create a new one then you just need to press ctrl shift and n key all right so this is a very useful shortcut that you must know to make your work much faster and go to the next level now the next key is also very important that is windows and the pause key so if you press windows and pause key from your keyboard so you will see that system information will be coming up now many time while troubleshooting or sharing your information you need to know the device name your processor the installed ram on your computer your product id and many other useful features that you can know by using this shortcut key as i have seen that many people struggle to find out all this information on their computer and either they go to youtube or to a website to find out that how to know their ram how to know the processor so now this key can make your work much faster and it can be very useful so next time whenever you have to know that what kind of ram you're using what kind of processor and what kind of product id you are using then you can use this shortcut key next we have the windows plus d key this is another important shortcut key that can be a very helpful for the people who have opened multiple tabs multiple application and program on their computer now many times it happened that you have to minimize all the application once if you're watching any kind of weird things like something that is next level and suddenly someone comes into your room and you just get panic and not sure that how you have to minimize it let's say if i have opened my settings i bring up the file explorer then i also bring up my obs so i have right now three application running so it can be three five ten fifteen whatever quantity it is you just need to press windows and the d key all together and you can see that all the item will be minimized and if you press again windows and d key all the application will come up again okay so you can just hold this shortcut key and let's say if anybody comes suddenly then you can press it and when they go they can again you can press the windows and d key and it will come back okay now next one that we have is windows plus tab key so again if you are working on multiple application multiple program multiple browsers and if you want to quickly switch between those application then you will have to press windows key with the tab key and all the application will be showing you up here and whichever you want to switch you can just leave your keys by selecting that particular item and that item will be coming up again you can press windows with the tab key and let's say if i want to select the chrome then i can select it if i want to go to obs then i can go to the obs so similarly you can quickly switch between different tasks that you are using on your computer now the next shortcut is also very important and most of the people try to use it that is the windows shift and the s key just to take a screenshot of any application of any page of any image so what you will have to do so let's say if you are on a chrome on any article or any kind of page and you want to take the screenshot of that entire page or any particular part then what you will have to do from your computer from your keyboard you need to press windows shift and the s key and you will see the menu on the top now if you want to take a full screen then you can click on the full screen option but if you want to take a screenshot of any particular part like this one so you can simply select it and drag that part and this item the screenshot will be taken now in order to view it what you will have to do you need to go to the file explorer then click on pictures then click on a screenshot and your screenshot will be 
displayed over here right so this is how you can quickly take a screenshot of any particular part or the entire page without taking the help of any third party application or software all right so let's move with the next one that is a very important shortcut key in order to fix many kind of graphic driver problem now many time on your computer you might have seen some kind of black screen some kind of weird screen coming up on your computer now this can be because of the graphic driver and there is a shortcut key in order to refresh and reset the graphic driver so what you will have to do from your keyboard you need to press windows Control, shift and the b key all together and as soon as you press it you will see that there will be a kind of change in your screen and that means that your graphic driver has been resetted and many times this fix all kind of your black screen problem or any kind of problem related to the graphics so you should keep this shortcut key in your mind so the next time whenever you have any kind of problem you can quickly apply this shortcut and who knows that this fix your problem now on number eight we have another very important shortcut key that is windows plus l key so let me explain you what exactly it does whenever you press windows and l key from your keyboard the computer will get locked so why this shortcut is very important because many times when you are working in your office in your school or anywhere there comes a time when you have to leave for a while to grab a cup of tea or for any other reasons then what you can do you can just simply press the shortcut key in order to lock your computer this will be helping you to maintain your privacy so that no one else probably your colleague or anyone else your friend they cannot access your computer so you should keep this in habit whenever you leave your computer simply lock it by using this shortcut key next shortcut key is very important for the people who just do a lot of copy and paste work probably on their word document or any other kind of text editor so many times it happens that you copy and paste some items so let me quickly show you if i copy this item and paste at the bottom and then if i just cut anything and paste at the bottom so if you have done a lot of time copy and paste and you're not sure and if you want to know that what exactly you copied so you will have to press window plus v key and this will show you what exactly you copied so you can see the last one was this and before that i just copied this item so it will give you the full list and show you what exactly you did so the people who do the copy and paste or who work on the office or word they know that how this command this shortcut key can help them all right so the last and not the least that again is windows plus v key so many times while using your word document or any other kind of document or using youtube or if you want to make any kind of comment uh, with kind, some kind of emojis uh, you just go ahead and just take the help of any third party application or website but now you can use this shortcut key and you will get a list of all the emojis all kind of gif all kind of symbols so if you want to insert any kind of emoji like me so i can just select any one of them and i can click on it and you will see the emoji will be displayed on my document or wherever i want to select it similarly if you go back and if you click on the gif so you can search for the gif and you can click on it and that particular gif will be coming on your page then you also have the symbol item so if you want to go and take any kind of symbol the people who work on the word and they want to convert any kind of any text to symbol so they can simply just take the help of this a shortcut and they can insert any kind of symbol that is available over here so these are the best 10 most useful shortcut keys that every windows users must know in order to make their live computer work easier and i'm very sure if you keep these shortcut in practice you can just take your computer skills to the next level so hopefully guys you will enjoy this video and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section that which shortcut key you like the most. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.